Okay, we are getting started. Alright, we're getting started. Okay, so let me close all this out. Matter of fact, let me open all the rest of this stuff up. Mm. Not display capture. I think we're good on that. Alright. So picture closed. Boom. Y'all should still be able to hear the music pretty good. So ladies and gentlemen, what is up? ADS Play 101 here and welcome to the 2022 Bleach tier list, uh, which was made on Tier Maker. You guys should be familiar with the site if you ever seen people do tier lists before, whether it be serial, animes, cartoon shows, etc, etc. I've seen people do some wild things with tier. I even went on the website and somebody did one with porn for whatever reason. I don't... It is what it is. <laughs> but uh, that being said, man, um, you guys know I'm a fan of Bleach and I've been a fan of Bleach for a long ass time. So I decided to go on Tier Maker and do a tier list with the characters from Bleach. Now, on Tier Maker, they actually have a bunch of... Uh, tier lists already made already pre-made like they already uploaded the characters and the pictures already and uh, they allowed us to you know and they allow you to make your own via the stuff that they already have on there so I decided to make a bleach tier list with the ones that I seen with the one that I seen excuse me and um, I think you guys might agree with this now the factors that I'm playing in when it comes to this tier list is that and I should have covered it up before I did that but you know it is what it is but uh, I had decided to take into account everything that we know in the manga so far I mean the manga is already finished you know um, and I never uh, like anything that we know about the characters or everything that I know personally about the characters because I do a lot of reading up on the lore when it comes to Bleach the backstories you know the light novels uh, uh, spirits are forever with you um, they do not love you uh, and uh, can't fear your own world so I'm, I'm very familiar with the backstories of a lot of these characters I may not remember the names exactly but I do remember the backstories of some of the characters like their faces and the stories with them I do remember their backstories so uh that being said, man, I, I want to take my time and go over why I made the list that I made. Some of y'all will agree. Some of y'all will disagree. But uh, if you don't agree, then let me know in the comments, man. So this might be a minute. So let me see. Let me turn this music down a little bit more. Cause I, I want the music to be heard. I just don't want it to overpower my voice. And I never know because I have no way to know about this live. Now, I am live streaming this on TikTok. And TikTok at the moment has no way for me to see. Or rather, they have no way for me to show the. Uh, it literally has no way for me to show the. Um, how can I put it? It has no way for me to show the chat. So as people come in. And as people, I guess, talk, I'll just interact with them. Because um, we got like a good 20 people in here already. So, well, we good. So, with that being said, this is the list. Uh, you see some of the characters in here already. But uh, this is the list that I have it named. So, these these last two are, the, the very bottom one is, is the unknown or haven't shown enough to be relevant. Or... They're, they're unknown, haven't shown enough, or are irrelevant. This is the very bottom. Um, the second, the one above that, is shown combat experience, but not enough to compete with higher tiers. Then it goes from D rank, C rank, B rank, A rank, S rank, and double S rank. And I will explain for the majority of, this, of the characters, especially in the higher ranks, why I decided to pick the, um, the ones that I decided to pick for those ranks. 
So, as we see all the way down here, there's a few characters who may look familiar, and these are the ones that I have for the unknown, haven't shown enough, or irrelevant section. And um, there are a lot of these characters that are unknown. Um, there's a few of these, actually. So, for example, the one like this one right here, this guy, I have no clue who this is. I feel like I should know. But I have no clue who this is, nor do I know who the guy is in the front right here. So these two are kind of unknowns to me. That's the reason why I put them in that section. Um, next up, we have uh, Chaz or Jazz Domino in the translation, but Chaz Domino, um, who turned out to be just a figment of uh, of um. Grimmy's Im imagination via his power as the visionary <clears throat> I mean as um as the visionary excuse me uh, that's one of his creations um, and you know for those who understand who Grimmy is he's one of the Stern Ritter with the script V for the visionary he, he can create things and make them into reality from his imagination so but we never got to see what he what his script was first of all because as he was revealing it in the manga as well in the anime like he was killed off you know <laughs> he didn't he, he didn't get a chance to say anything you know as he was revealing the script as Ichigo was breaking out of Opie's uh, jail ability he ended up uh, getting killed so we don't know nothing so he's irrelevant next up we got Mr. Lucky Punch right here I forgot his name but he was one of the full brain he had the knuckles for the, um, where's my phone? I could probably look these guys up as we're doing this. Get this right here. Not that I really need to, but I feel like I should know his name. It's a full brain. Lucky. Full bring lucky punch. Moshishi Gawara. Gawara. Moshishi Gawara. That's his name. Right there. Moshishi Gawara. That's his name. And uh, his ability is the lucky punch. You know, he has a brass knucks. Um, or he has these knuckles, these uh, ring knuckles. Brass knuckles, basically. That, uh, has a number seven that's his full bring ability he's able to create that and basically he hits a jackpot every time he punches something and that jackpot means that he basically gets to break whatever he punches essentially so he's a uh, he didn't but his his ability goes down because he loses luck every time he does it so he doesn't get a jackpot every time or he loses um, a jackpot as time goes on. So he's he's one of those that didn't show enough. So next up we have I think the fifth Kimpachi. I believe that's what it is. He has okay. He's Kaganjo. Kaganjo. So he was the fifth Kenpachi. Like, like I said, I know the backstories of the characters, just not their names. But um, Kenpacho, I put him on that list because, if I'm not mistaken, he was he was in, he, he was indeed indeed the fifth. No, he was the tenth Kenpachi. No, he couldn't have been the tenth. That's not right. Cause I'm looking at a list right here. That can't be correct. Because Asha Zero was the guy that Zaraki defeated to become, I mean, just based on the lore of the characters. Asha Zero, which is, he's one of the upper ranks uh, that I put on the tier list. With Soya Asha Zero, Asha uh, Zero, he was the Kenpachi that Zaraki beat in order to, to become the captain of Squad 11. So... There's no way that dude is the 10th Kenpachi. 
That, that, that don't make sense. Yeah, whoever made that little list on, uh, what you call them, got, got that information wrong. So, but he was a sneaky person. His backstory, he was basically a sneaky person. He wasn't a good Kenpachi whatsoever, and he had to sneak attack somebody in order to earn that title. Like, he got the title from sneak attacking somebody, if I'm not mistaken. So he he's not a, a, a respected fighter really like that. He's a Kempachi, but he wasn't really strong like that. He wasn't bloodthirsty. He was actually amongst all the Kempachis that existed, he was probably the most cowardly. He was a coward, so he wasn't really a real Kempachi any damn way. He was Kempachi in title alone, not by action. So he don't he don't really matter. Next up we got Nimu. Now Nimu, she's. I honestly should have put Nimu in the in the tier above it, cause she can fight, but it's just like I haven't seen enough of Nimu. Like she's more of like a passive. Even during the Blood War, Nimu was always treated like fodder. You know what I mean? She was always treated like tribute fodder, cause it seemed like her abilities are always more so defensive, for, for the sake of Mayuri and uh. I just haven't she had some combat experience um so i will put her in that list of the ones who haven't shown enough um she because she's not unknown she's not irrelevant she just she gets used as like a shield you know uh next up we got mr full brain the watch watch guy I'm trying to think of his name, the full bring watch guy. Full bring. No lies. I should have looked at these names beforehand. Now I'm not gonna do everybody in the list right here, just because obviously you know you you can look and tell who's irrelevant on this damn list, so it really don't matter. Giriko. Kutsuzawa Giriko Now let me say this again For the people who Are wondering why some of these characters Are even in the list to begin with Again this is a pre-made template And all of these characters were kind of At the These are the ones that they allowed you to select from And I just used everybody that was on there I didn't really leave nobody out It's just it's kind of sucky how some of these um some of these characters are even in the talks of being good or bad when some of them was just you know they were just henchmen they're not really just important to talk about like that especially all these damn hollows but we don't get to them uh, but Garico, he was he didn't show enough at all he was able to make rooms and increase his power by passing time on itself and creating some time distortions and things like that uh that was his full bring power um but he wasn't good at all kenpachi whipped his ass if it was somebody else that he could just like bully then maybe he would have been able to do more but they put him against kenpachi and kenpachi just sliced his ass in half so he was irrelevant <laughs> next up we got the healer he don't really do much so he's kind of irrelevant Uryu's dad, he's not a, we don't know enough about him, his combat abilities, we just assume because he's Uryu's father that he's good, but we haven't seen enough of him, so he's an unknown factor, um, and sure enough, next up we have the Shiba clan, these two right here, I'm not even gonna bother to look up everybody's names because I don't want this to be long, but uh, yeah, she um, these two actually turned out to be Ichigo's cousins. Actually, they revealed it in ep they revealed it in the manga, of course, but in episode seven in the anime, because I know everybody didn't read the manga. Uh, um, Ishin Kurosaki is actually their uncle. You know, actually their uncle. So these the Shiva clan is related to Ichigo. That's crazy. 
So this is the school girl that went to school with Ichigo and uh in Chad and Inoue. Uh this is the earlier Ron Carr. Um these are the Grande Hollows. I believe they call them Grandes. Um some of them Vasto Lordes. But all of these are irrelevant. <laughs> They did good for their time, but in, t in 2022, they wouldn't stand a chance. And none of these people will. In a way, she's, she hasn't shown enough on the combat side. I know a lot of people going to get mad at me for putting her all the way down here. But combative-wise, what does she do? If you look at the people that I have in the upper ranks, she doesn't do anything. She doesn't do nothing. She can put up a shield, but that shield with enough force can be broken. You know, Santai Keshun can, that shield that Santai Keshun picks up can be broken. Uh, next up, I think we have Jirobo. I believe that's what his name was. The, the Flying Blade, J Jirobo the Flying Blade. He was um, one of the seats in, I can't remember who, I want to say Squad 11, but I could be wrong. When they went to, they, when they went back to save Rukia, he was one of the, uh, he was one of the soul reapers that they went against and his shikai was like a bunch of uh blades that were just kind of whirling around it was like a lesser zinbon zakara i guess you would say next up we have the one on wrong car these guys right here they did good but it wasn't enough so that they didn't show enough so i kind of left them down there as far as these two guys right here, you know, they're guardians of Neliel. But, um, again, didn't show enough. I want to say this is Mesako. Um, no, Mesako, excuse me. But I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Uh, Saniel uh, Azamparo, excuse me. I, I can't remember his name. You know, they got them Spanish names. Trying to think. Sanzi. Sanzi yeah. Okay. Sanzi Puro, that's his name. Zayeli Zanyella Zanyella Puro Grants. I, I couldn't pronounce that name to save my damn life. But they have him for whatever reason they put him on the list twice. When whoever originally made this template, they put him on here twice. And his first form was just him being annoying. It didn't really do too much. Like, it was a waste of time. And I basically just put him down here because his other form was up in the higher ranks. And I just didn't want to, you know, have, um, I didn't want to have him all over the place. Next up, we got the ring thrower. If you remember during... When uh, Aizen reached his final, which reached his second to the final form, after uh, Gen had stabbed him with that, with the God Spear, and he left that chunk of a uh, of poison off of his blade in his body. Um, dude was down there, and he uh, had like a blade that did like a little. He had that chakra that did like a earth, like a a power wave in the earth. That's him. We don't know. We don't know enough about him, so he didn't get. He didn't get pushed up with the higher ranks. The higher ranks. Uh, next up, we got. I can't remember who this is. I think she. I think these two work with Unohana. They work with some damn body. I can't think at the moment, but they were. They are soul reapers, but we never really seen them fight, so we don't really have any enough information on them. So they're kind of irrelevant. Next up, we got some more Ron Carr. <sighs> Didn't do shit. He was there. This dude was there with homeboy over here, and they didn't really do shit because he basically did all the damn fighting. He did good. He did good, but 
you know, it wasn't enough. Then we got Don Konichi. Um, again, don't really show enough. They didn't show enough about him. He was early, but they didn't show enough about him. So it's whatever with him. Then we got the big Shriner himself, who's more so of an unknown factor. He comes in handy a lot during during like the earlier days of Bleach Hell, even being mind controlled and breaking into Squad One's barracks because his size. So he didn't really get a chance to show what he can do in a serious fight. It's just he's just big. So we don't know enough about him. Um, next up we got one of the ancient Kuchis, Kuchkis, one of the ancestors of Byakuya. Um, he was good, but no, he was the guy that was, my bad. He's not a Kuchki, or at least it wasn't confirmed, but um, that he wasn't one. But he was the guy, I think he was the first seat, or like the second seat in squad one, when... When uh, Genryu side went off to fight um, Driscoll, when uh, Shuhei was fighting Driscoll, Bercy, he was left to guard Squad One's barracks, and then of course Yuha, Yuha Ba went to uh, see Aizen under Mukin, which is underneath Squad One's barracks. Um. Well, see, went to see Eisen, who was underneath Squad One's uh, barracks. Um, he was the one that got left behind to guard Squad One's uh, place. But uh, yeah, Yuha made short work of him, so we don't even see what he can do. So he's irrelevant. I mean, he's in Squad One, so I'm pretty sure he knows how to fight, but we don't know. He's an unknown factor. Next up, we got the big. The big hollow itself that spits out, that throws up Minos Grande. So, didn't see enough on its own. He was just big. Next up, we got the two kids, two kid on Uh We got Homeboy right here. I can't, oh God, I can't remember the, the name of some of these. As we get to the higher ranks, you know. Let's see. Ivan. It was Ivan Azigaro. So he didn't make it far. Plus, he failed in trying to steal Ichigo's Bankai, which a lot of people didn't know. Ichigo um, his bunkai couldn't get stolen so that's a fail on his part I gotta switch my batteries in my wireless mouse next up we got the little girl right here who tried to fight Ukitake during the fake Karakura Town situation she failed miserably then we have all the prisoners that was in Mukin. That's when Kisuke Urahara and Hiori, she was the girl in the red jumpsuit. She was one of the visors. She was in the red jumpsuit, had the, the, the blonde hair and the freckles. Um, the one who was sipping over, well, the one who was calling Hikifune, you know, the fat woman who was a part of Zero Squad. Uh, she considered her mother. But yeah. They went down there and um, tried to get Mayuri, because Mayuri at the time, he was one of the worst criminals, so they put him in Mukin. Uh, homeboy right here, I can't remember his name, but he's not that relevant. Forgot who the fuck this was, don't even matter. This is the bird, a wrong car, that didn't even last long. There's a homegirl with a heart gut, <clears throat> with the heart gun. 
technically she's still on earth she's just living her life she's just not doing anything she's just living regular with her it's more so of a you know even during the final fight with the full brain she didn't want to fight no damn body you know what I'm saying she wanted to get touched on by Ichigo and shit then we got um Ichigo's sisters you know they were I think they're able to see spirits we got Gon Gon doesn't fight so he's down there we got the kettle um hollow from Hoke Mundo from Hoke Mundo then we got Mr. Video Game himself he doesn't really have too much it seems like his ability is only good for creating spaces for other people to fight he's not a good fighter himself um, another Arankar who didn't last long he was like a crab or something like that then we got Mr. Multi Fruit Bear himself um, a guy who wasn't even a real Arankar he just created fakes from his own body and then there's the dog so that's everybody that's on that level next up we get more serious now again this next list of people are the ones who are who have shown combat experience but not enough to compete with the higher tiers that are that are above them now mind you again this is counting the current time in, in the Bleach manga you know this is a, way past the anime as well as the backstories of um, of uh, several characters you know like we're counting everything even stuff that you may not know about so next up we got homeboy right here we don't know enough about him he's the vice captain of squad what 13 or was it squad 7 that Kamamura is, is the head of or is Kamamura head of squad 13 Sergeant Kamamura Seven, okay. He's the captain of Squad Seven, like I thought, but he's the vice captain of Squad Seven. Um, now it's known at this current time, at this present time, after the after the Blood War, he does achieve Bankai and he does become the captain of Squad Seven. He replaces Komamura. Komamura, little spoilers. If you read the manga or the light, uh, like the light novel. Uh, they do not love you. Uh, Komamura, Sanjin Kamamura, Kamamura, he's went off to live in like the countryside. He retired as a, a squad captain and his vice captain took over. So what's his name? He's 7th Division. Ranging Kumamura. Eba. Tatsuzama and Eba. That's the name. 
He used to be in the 11th division, but he's the current captain of squad seven. Just like I thought. Okay, I, I remember. Now, it's not known what his Shikai does, and also he had, he did achieve Bankai, and it's not a known what it's not known what his Bankai does either. So we um we're kind of lost with that. <laughs> then we have Isane, who's the current captain, I think, of Squad 13, if I'm not mistaken, or she's the captain of Squad 12. Um the squad that Unohana was the head of, which I think is 13. If I'm not mistaken, I keep closing my phone, knowing damn well I'm going to have to use it again. You know, because I want to be accurate with this stuff. With the names, at least. Yasane Kotetsu. Okay, she's the captain of squad four, excuse me. So, yeah, she upgraded. Um... She did show combat experience for a while. Actually, she didn't. She should be down here with the unknowns. Because even though she's a captain now, we don't know what any of her abilities are. All we've seen was her Shikai activate, but it never... we never seen it in action. So we don't know what it can do. Um, next, we got Kondu, who's Stern Ritter Eye. He has good combat experience, but the thing about him is his ability sucks. He, he basically shines as a fighter as a hand-to-hand -hand combat fighter outside of that he's trash then after that we got Weisel he's um he, his ability is mainly defensive but he has no combat experience himself like he doesn't fight himself he's just a person that just stands there and attacks just miss him you know his um his uh Script is W for the wind. Any any attack that hits him, he can just direct it into like a different point to where it just avoids him. Um, then we got Stern Ritter in. We don't even know what his script is, you know, because he dies before unless the anime does something different. He dies before we even get to know it. Um, this is homeboy. I, I can't remember who was who this is but he was with Ichigo with the uh when they had the um what were those octopus looking things that were attached to the Zombok so at the time I can't remember the, the name of that arc like the princess arc that's what it was I think it does. Defending Kasumi Yoji. Okay, this is Ryusei. That's his name. Ryusei. His Bankai isn't really known what it does. He, does he hasn't shown a Bankai. It seemed like he can fight, like he has some fencing abilities. But from what I remember, his, his Shikai just sends pollen and it, it like blinds people. It wasn't really shown to do anything outside of that. He activates it and his pollen pops flowers on anything in the surrounding area you know it's good for escaping but it's not really known what else it does um homeboy right here with the skull he has good hand-to-head -hand combat skills um i remember that but i don't, I don't remember him having a shikai i can't remember let's see I'm about to type in like bleach character skull coat or something like that.
Ashido, Ashido Kano. That's what it is. I don't remember him having. I don't remember him having a Shikai or anything like that. Let me make sure. I just remember him having real good. Okay, yeah, his Shikai and his Bankai are known. So he was never. He was a Shinigami who was just real good at hand to hand combat. He had real good swordplay. Um. Next, we have Diane Ketso. I think that's what it is. He was the guy that Quincy, not Quincy, but uh, a spot on number nine was um one of the Espadas. I don't remember who it was, but he was the one that had the greed ability. The one who had the two skulls and like a lava lamp looking thing. No, it's Kanye and Dono. I remember who it is. Kanye and Shiba. That's who it was. He had the Shikai that basically turned his staff into a trident. He was able to control water. His Shikai was able to control water. like a second or third seat in some squad but he never really had anything significant um his abilities were copied by one of the spotter number number nine okay he was number nine damn i had that right and i didn't even know it so yeah i said i didn't want this to be long but it's gonna be a long one we're just having fun right now but um misako misako i believe that's her name uh that's ichigo's mother she was a full-blooded quincy which makes ichigo you know uh, full-blooded Quincy as well well half-blooded Quincy and um, he's a mixed breed Quincy so that's how he was acti- able to activate blood vein when uh, Yuha stabbed him she was good and she went up against white but white was a dangerous hollow that Aizen created but uh, yeah she was um, she had some good combat experience which above the other ones that are up there she doesn't have enough to do anything and they got na 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 naja you know good ability that uh he can scan um riatsu and basically force it out of people's bodies after he's done scanning um this is the guy who had the roar ability irrelevant because he didn't last long at all this is uh the one this is uh stern ritter r it's a stern ritter um shit i forgot what his what his script was but he he dies kind of quick any damn way so it don't matter he's still alive in the anime right now but he doesn't last long uh if i'm not mistaken i think aizen kills him but um no 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 it, it's a secret who kills him i'm not gonna say who but i know aizen does fight him then uh this dude stern ritter r the roar the one that turns into a giant ape he got killed by zaraki homegirl right here this is stern ritter g for the gluttony she just eats every goddamn thing this dude works with mayuri in the research division 
This is one of the guys that works for Kisuke Urahara. Both of these kids. Lisa. One of the... Uh, of, I think at this current time, she's a captain. But it's not, it's not enough is known about her. Like, not enough is known about her for me to have confidence to put her up higher than this. Uh, Minos Grande, you know, dangerous. Could probably beat all the rest of these guys down here. I don't... You know, of course... Um, Aniro, the gluttony, spotter number nine. Homeboy right here with the mass. Every time he breaks it, it gets stronger. Um, the sus, strong as hell though. You know, this is one of the hollows that actually comes back during the blood war. I'm not gonna say who or how he co how he comes back, but he comes back. You know. And then we got fat and fast, speed and weight. Not enough is shown about him. He definitely doesn't compete with the higher rings. The higher tiers. Chad, good, doesn't compete with the higher rings. The bounce, you know, they're good. Don't compete with the higher rings. I think these are the girls from the the Hellverse movie. Um, you know, we don't really know too much about them. We don't see enough about them. The twins, they do good. You know, they're from the Diamond Dust Rebellion uh, movie. They fight pretty good, but not enough. Miss Dirty Boots herself um, against higher ranks. Nah. Uh, the one who replaced Grimjow for a while at Sternritter, what, six? Um, Luffy. Um, I know the, the, res, the Resurrection is uh, Turn and Padora. You know, all them tentacles and all that. Luffy. In front of it all, Stern Ritter E, the explode. She against other people, maybe she'll do good, but not against the higher ranks that we have right now. Uh, Opie, Opie is good for the reasons that you know he has a, he shows abilities that the other Quincy's are never going to use, not that they're not important. It's just that the other Quincy's don't use them. They don't allow the other Quincy. They didn't write the story for the other Quincy's to use them. He was just there as like a, as a demonstration as to the abilities Quincy's have. And it's sad because some of those abilities are actually helpful. And during the blood war, you're going to see some of those guys should have used those abilities because all the Quincy's can use them. Um, according to Kubo. Then we have Wonder Weiss. Can't forget his name. Um, the guy who was made to extinguish the flames of Ryujin Jaka, and he did his um, he did his due diligence. Uh, I, f I forgot her name. I forgot her name, but she was uh, she wasn't really shown that much in the in the anime, but she was a friend of Ichigo and all of them. You know, she was a, an ally some, of sorts. Then we got Catnip. Just a hothead with Thunderbolts. Don't know who the hell this is. I feel like I should know who this is. Um, don't know who this is either. But I, I, I know that they have combat experience. It's just that I can't think of how well they fight. They, they, they never showed it. Uh, then we got the Mammoth right here. We got the Horse. Um, I think this is another one of the Bounce. I can't think of who this is right here. And then we got Mr. Pompadourus himself. He didn't have a Pompadour. He just acted like a guy that belonged in a disco or something. Uh, the one who had the resurrection on the Gale. He basically created tornadoes with his kicks and things like that. Um, you got Leonis right there. Miss Snake Girl. Them three come together to make Ion, that big beast. But they don't show enough combat proneness themselves it seemed like every time they fight they too busy fighting each other than the target and um yeah then we have the pigeon or the ostrich chick <laughs> who uh then what his name was homeboy right here was trying to look up her dress <laughs> that was that, that was silly um then there was the swordsman from the Hellverse. Hellverse, I can't remember. Um, 
what his name was, but he was strong. He just didn't do enough. And he definitely not competing with nobody in 2022. If he was alive right now, like in the story right now, he wouldn't compete with the other, with the higher tiers. That's a fact. Uh, got a homegirl right here who had the flower. She had, uh, oh my God, I can't think of who this is. I want to say she came from a movie. But I can't think of what movie it was. So forgive me for that. She has combat experience, but not enough to compete with the higher ones. So next up, these la these two right here, um, she was the one that got tricked by Eisen. I, I can't think of the name. And all the guys that tr got tricked by Eisen and they're stabbing her. So, like, I can't think of the name real quick, but she definitely, uh, But she definitely has um she has good strategy. She's the one who has like the meteor uh the, the meteor whip, the one who has like that pronged pronged out sword for a Shikai. And she can throw like meteor balls, like fireballs from it. Snap Tachi Bunny or something like that. Like, I'm, I can't think of who this is. I want to say I know, but I don't. Um, Mr. Too Good for his own goddamn good. Ikaku. Uh, good, but his Bankai is trash. Because it's like a, it's a glass cannon. I, I can't even say it's a glass cannon. It's basically like a fragile, sharp sword. That's the best way to explain it. Then we got uh, Izuna. I'm trying to see Izuna. Izuru Kira, that's who it is. So he's good, but matter of fact, they don't give us an update for him. Cause he comes back, but he comes back as more so a zombie. They don't tell us what happened to him after the, the blood war. So the rest of these from this point on is going to be easy. These first two is like terrible. But yeah, the, the next the next levels are going to be easier to, to describe. Because now we're getting into the actual ranks. 